Hi guys, Ursa Dia here, and I am back with another Learn Japanese to Survive Kanji Combat. Sorry that it's been a while since I posted a last one, but things have been really, really hectic around my house. Things keep breaking, and I just haven't had the time to record, but hopefully from now on I can be more on track with this, but let's continue. Okay, so I think we're gonna start off with another lesson. Yes. Because I don't think we can upgrade anything yet. Okay, so these are more numbers right off the bat. So we're continuing with numbers, which we started last time. So this would be six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So this is six, or Roku. This is actually one of like my favorite kanji to write. I don't know why, but for me, it's just like really fun. But six, mu is the kunyomi, and Roku is the onyomi. Kind of looks like a person. So, mu and roku. The next kanji is seven or nana or shichi. So, the kunyomi is nana, shichi is the onyomi. And it kind of looks like an upside down seven. The next one is eight or hachi or ya. So the kunyomi is ya and hachi is the onyomi. And it kind of looks like the katakana for ha. So just be like wary of that. This one has more of like a little top part. And then this is nine or cute. So nine is kokono is the kunyomi and then the onyomi is ku or cute. I most of the time here pronounce cute. Um, it's v at least to me, I've very rarely heard it actually pronounced ku, but I normally hear it pronounced cute. Um, kokono just like I always think of coconut because it kind of sounds like coconuts <laughs> to me. I don't know why. So I always just think like coconut. So coconut, cute, or cute. And then this is 10 or ju. So the kunyomi is to, and then the onyomi is ju or ji. I mostly hear it pronounced ju, like when you're counting most of the time it's ju. And then it resembles like the letter T for 10. So to, ju, ji. Ooh, and now we know how to count to 10. Now that the lesson is over, I have to quiz you. I hope you've been paying attention. Here we go. What is the English meaning of Q? That would be nine. What is the kunyomi of Hachi? That'd be ya, yeah, right? Okay. <laughs> I always get like the kunyomi and like onyomi like mixed up. So I was like, wait a second. <laughs> was the onyomi of that? That'd be roku. 
and then this would be seven or nana. The kunyomi would be to. Oh, that one always stumped me. Congratulations on completing the quiz. You are well on your way to mastering kanji. I wanted to update you all on something important. Priya and I have spent some time asking around to find if anyone has encountered that monk we met. And wouldn't you believe it? Some of the townspeople have met him too. Hmm, really? That's odd. Tell us more. Well, all of their stories lined up with ours. They met the monk, were taken to the shrine in their city, and asked to make a prayer. Then, after the prayers were complete, they ate lunch? No, of course not. Their city disappeared, right? Bingo! Vanished. However, there was one in interesting difference. Tell them, Priya. Oh, yeah. We all made a prayer for good luck in our studies, right? Just like the monk asked us to? Well, these people were asked to pray for anything they wanted. Some made a prayer for health or wealth or for friends and family, totally different from us. But the end result was the same. Their city vanished. Right, so what you're saying is that the prayer that we made couldn't have affected what happened. That's my theory, yes. But the monk, on the other hand, he has to be the cause behind this phenomenon. I agree. He must be behind this somehow. Did anyone else in their city survive? No, apparently not. That's another thing we all have in common. Only the people praying in the shrine were spared from disappearing. Bizarre, right? Everyone else vanished along with the city. This is definitely weird. Hana-sensei, what should we do? I'm not sure. All I can suggest is that we continue down the path we've chosen. We'll continue studying in order to defeat the kanji monsters, and we'll keep building up this town. If more people manage to get here, we can keep them safe at the very least. I can't say I like it, but if we save more people, then maybe I can live with it. I'm all for it. The stuff that's happened so far sucks, but working together is so much better than sitting on our butts. Yeah, I've convinced myself I need to stay positive in order to get through this, so that's what I'm going to do. Thank you, everyone. Together we'll get through this somehow. Hmm? Ah, it looks like we have company. Some kanji monsters are slinking around outside. Could have guessed. Well, I'm ready to fight. I've got your back, bro. Let's take them down. We can do it. Arisidea, prepare yourself. Protect the town and the people here at all costs. I don't know if the voices have gotten better or worse. <laughs> I kind of like slightly remember what I was doing for the voices, but not entirely. So I think I got slightly better at the guys, but the girls might be a bit messed up. Okay, okay, we're dealing with English words now. Th this is actually easy. I was like worried that it was going to throw me into like having the kanji <laughs> and I would have to pick the hiragana because I was like, oh no, because it's been a while. So I was just like, will I remember? But this I can do. So that's four. Then let's get rid of Mizu because that's probably going to attack us next. And then six. Or Roku. Okay, so this is a nice ease back into it because it's been a few weeks since I've done this. Do, do, do. So then let's do 10. Evening was this one. You. This is like my one issue with like kanji is I know what it means. Like I, I can see the picture and be like, I know what this means in English. But then if you ask me to read it in Japanese, I'm like, um, like sometimes I know like one of the readings sometimes like 
if they're like if it's a really really popular common kanji i actually like know like both of the readings <laughs> but most of the time i only know the translation which isn't a bad thing but it definitely like sucks when you go to like read it out loud and you're like i can't read this out loud but i know what it means <laughs> and it seems like we've leveled up to level three which is nice Three more enemies to go. Okay, so let's do four. The battle music sounds very familiar, but I don't know if it's just because, like, it played all of, like, the last two, like, plays that I did, like, the last two videos I did of this. So it's probably just familiar from that, but it's, like, weirdly giving me like bravely default vibes but i'm like it's nothing like bravely defaults music i wish it was like bravely defaults music bravely default in my opinion has the best game soundtrack ever and so freaking good three seven Or Nana. And then stone. Oh, hey, nice. We were already on stone. I think we have one more enemy. One more to go. <laughs> no, I just gotta find it. We're in a small town. How can I not find it? There we go. Oh, we got some different ones. So, Hachi. Ichi. Here. And Getsu Gatsu. Woo. Now the boss. Maybe. We should have a boss. We're going cutscene first. Hmm? Ah, it's the boss. Do we really need a cutscene for that? <laughs> okay. Oh, right off the bat. Okay, so let's get rid of Ichi. Because that one hasn't attacked us yet. And then Roku. And then let's do J. And then Nana. And then you. Kin. Kane. And then Hachi. Woo, we did it. <laughs> we only got attacked at the first round. I like. I don't like being attacked in, like, the first round, but at the same time, like, when they do it where only half of them attack in the first round, like, it makes it easier for you to come up with, like, a battle strategy for, like, who to attack first instead of, like, blindly just attacking one and then, like, chancing the rest. Frederick saves the day again, yeah! Phew, um, thanks for backing me up. Don't sweat it. Actually, Priya, thanks for backing me up. No problem, oh, Freddy. Oh, yeah, Hana-sensei, I appreciate the support in that fight. Oh, please, you're very welcome. I owe it all to Elliot. He had my back. Bitch, I had all y'all's backs. Well, I only managed to pull off that special move because Frederick was supporting me. Why is nobody praising us? They're all just praising each other. We did all of the work. Yeah, you're welcome, man. Priya kept me fighting throughout that. I feel like this is going to be an endless loop of us thanking each other. Yeah, maybe we should leave it here. Or give me some compliments. The kanji monsters are getting more vicious. We'll need to keep up with our lessons in order to stay ahead of them. Get some rest for this evening. We'll recommence tomorrow morning. 
I'd also like to point out that, like, we're the foreigners in this situation, and clearly, like, if all these other people got, like, taken at, like, shrines and stuff, like, you would expect that, like, they, they, they're Japanese, and so my question is, why are we the foreigners now, like, the headrunners of this new town, and, like, the ones who need to, like, force ourselves to learn kanji in order to be defeat these monsters when we're literally now met up with like a bunch of like native Japanese people who probably already know said kanji and could just beat the monsters like I guess it goes like against like plot reasons but like it's still kind of like weird to think about like it's for plot reasons, but it's definitely, like, a plot hole. What do you want to build? Strange common kanji orbs? What are common ones? I'm going to say no to that. Okay, nice. We had enough orbs to, like, build things. Oh, okay, so... These must be, like, the rare orbs. That's interesting. So do you have a rare orb, too? No, you just have stone and fire, which would make sense. You're just trees and gold. Yeah, okay, so I wonder what this other one is. wonder if he'll tell us. Okay, he won't tell us. Do we have it? in our okay so we don't have one of them okay so i wonder what that is because <laughs> i don't know i guess if we have enough we might as well nope we don't have enough okay on to the next lesson then <laughs> uh wonder what this is No, okay, so that's just, I didn't notice that there was an add to party thing last time, so I was just like, do we get to add more people? Let's continue lessons. Ooh, chapter three, moving on up in this world. Welcome to lesson five. Okay, so now we're going back to normal kanji, so... This is, this is like up or above. This is down. This is oh, left, I want to say, and this is right. I could be getting these two mixed up. I always get them mixed up. But I want to say this one's left, this one's right, and then this one's inside. Yeah, I think. So it's Ue, Shita, I want to say Hidari, Miki, Naka. Oh, I, I think I might have gotten the left and right switched. I don't remember. So this is Ue, which means like above or up. So it's the Kunyomi is Ue, Kami, and the Onyomi is Jo and Sho. So it's kind of like, I always think of it as like this small little line is above the ground. But that's just me. So, Ue, Kami, Jo, Sho. Then this is Shita which is down or below. And so I think of it as like this little part is below the ground. So shita, shimo is the kunyomi, and then ka or ge is the onyomi. So they have it as a down arrow. Like I said, this is just below that. That's how I think of it. So shita, shimo, ka, ge. 
<laughs> Here comes, is this left? I don't think I've actually formally learned this one. Oh, I was right. Okay, so I've never formally learned left and right, but it's one that when you see it enough, you kind of just pick up what it is. So I've never formally learned this, but it's one that if I see it, I can read it. If you asked me to write it, I probably wouldn't be able to. I mean, like looking at it, I would be able to, but off the top of my head, I'd be like, no. But if you showed it to me randomly, I'd be like, yeah, I know what that is. So I was right. This one is left. So it's hirari is the kunyomi and then sa is the onyomi. So they have it. So your left hand shields your eye. Kind of see. This is one that like, there are like I guess picture examples for it, but like, I just don't see it, like not like anything. This is just one that to me I just have to memorize as is. And then this is right, which is Miki. <laughs> when I went to Japan, it was really funny. I knew how to ask for directions, but I didn't know any words relating to like what you would like answer other than Miki and so I was like I went to Japan and I was talking with like one of my friends who like went with me and I was just like well I know how to ask for directions but we're screwed if they respond in Japanese unless they telling us to go right because that's the only word I know but luckily he knew the word for left <laughs> but that was it so with our combined knowledge we knew right and left, and that was it. But this is migi, is the kunyomi, and then u or yu is the onyomi. So you lift your right hand to cover your mouth. See, I don't really like this because, like, you can lift your left hand to cover your mouth when eating. Like, it really, I guess, just depends on, like, like if you're right or left handed. But that is Miki or U or Yu. Then this is inside or Naka. I always think of it as the line. The middle line is inside or in the middle. So that's how I always remember it. So it's Naka, Uchi, or Chu. Naka uchi chu. So be chugaku is, I believe, middle school. Yeah, so the line is in the middle or inside the circle. So naka uchi chu. So yeah, so we have up, down, left, right, and inside. Now that that lesson is over, I have to quiz you. I do hope you've been paying attention. Here we go. This is below or down. It is shita. The onyomi of migi would be you. Okay. <laughs> Here's where we start to get tricky because for these ones, I mainly know the kunyomi. And so I'm like, oh, this one is... Kunyomi, okay. Then this is left. Correct kanji for up. Ue. If you go to Ueno, which is a subsection of Tokyo, you will notice that that is the Ue in Ueno. Hana sensei, now that the town is progressing, I don't know why I stumbled on that word. Now that the town is progressing, I feel like we need some more resources to keep up. We've got lots of timber, but we're lacking other vital things. Perhaps we can see out some of those materials. That way we can improve the town even further. We could do a lot with some good steel. Weapons and armor come to mind. You make a good point, but where could we find more materials? Sorry to interrupt you, but I overheard you talking. I don't know if it will have any 
if it will have what you want, but there is an old mine nearby. Apparently, I just can't read in English today. Well, there was before, you know. An old mine, you say? Hmm, sounds perfect. Yes, will it still be there? After all, most things around have disappeared. Well, we won't know until we go have a look. Can you point us in the direction of the mine? Certainly. Arisidia, I think we're I think we should explore the mine that we've been informed about. Make sure to spend some time in town preparing so we're ready for anything we encounter. When you're done, exit the town and head towards the mine. Okay. And do we have money? Okay, I'm going to see how much stuff costs in the forge. But my guess is I'm not going to actually want to buy something. Uh... Okay, I, I don't like how they have this set up. Um, see, I don't have enough to, like, level up all of them. So I'm like, I don't, I don't know if I want to, like, buy things right now. Unless I can buy, like, everybody something. Yeah. Okay. I think I'm going to save up a little bit more just so I can buy, like, decent weapons. Why is there a duck here? Hello, duck. Oh. Why, why can the duck talk? <laughs> Why can this duck talk? Hello, human. No, I'm not. No, no. <laughs> I tried. No, I'm not doing that. Hello, human. I'm happy to meet you. My name is Doc. I tried doing like a Donald Duck, but I don't. I don't think I can do that. I require some assistance. Would you be so kind as to help me? You will help. Oh, thank you, thank you. You see, I have misplaced my bottle cap collection. I need a slick individual such as yourself to find it for me and bring it back. I last saw my bottle cap collection in the dark forest. If you go there, you are sure to find it. Please bring back my bottle cap collection from the dark forest as soon as you can. I like how we're not even gonna, like, question the fact that that duck just spoke to us. Oh, I did not want to go into this dark forest. But I guess we'll do a quick... Scan. I won't go super far to find the bottle cap collection, but I will kind of glance around. No, we're going to run away because I don't really want to. I did not mean to, like, go in the forest. Okay. Meant to get to the mines. Ooh, shiny. Well, it looks like the mine is still here. Chippins is excited to explore. Oh, sorry. I read that completely in Elliot's voice. I'm not going in first, that's for sure. Don't be scared. We can do this. Let's hunt for some valuable materials. Locate the exit. Do, do, do. Stone orb. This might be, like, kind of bad, but my instinct reaction to... Um, like RPGs is to um run away when I see monsters. Like if they give me the choice to run away, like I most of the time will run away. And I know that that's like not good, but it's because whenever I play RPGs, I tend to hate grinding which I get is like 90% of what RPGs are. But 
it's still like not something I enjoy doing. So whenever I like am in a situation and they start like coming at me, my instinct is to like run away because I'm like, I rather avoid the monster. Let's go down. Well, oh God, six of them. Okay, so let's do it. Okay, so let's do Mise it and then Migi. Okay, I'm starting to get Migi and Ishi, which is stone, kind of confused. And I know that they're like, in my head, I feel like they're so similar, if not like almost the exact same. But I guarantee like if I saw them side by side, I would not think that. And then, yeah. Oh, okay. Hana's like dying. <laughs> she should probably be fine. Okay, so like looking at stone here, they're so close. Miki just has like a little thing at the top. I am going to use. that oh. okay I guess we're wasting that because the Ramune saves like like gives you back 50 HP she definitely like we're not even at that level I guess we'll fight okay so Migi Do Naka Suki Ju and then Yon. Woo. Oh, we were so close to leveling up, I think. Okay, I don't know what this is. There are some heavy boulders ahead. You won't be able to get through without breaking them. Try searching around for a tool that can break through. Ah, oh, but that takes so much effort. Okay, so this leads us back to where we were. Oh, a tool. Okay. I guess we'll get the tool after. So, Hirari. So let's do he. And, nope, that's oh, Nana. Oh no, Frederick. Uh, young. Hi, yeah. And then Shita. Okay. Uh, okay. So we leveled up. And it looks like we found strong looking pickaxe. So we should be able to clear the roads. Oh, can I go around? <laughs> is that a thing? I just remembered that there is definitely like a monster I did not be over there. But if we can go around this way. I don't think this is the right way. I am lost. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so logic dictates. Okay, so this is where we. Okay, so we went in a giant circle. Okay, that's the one we missed. <laughs> this is the one thing I hate about like dungeon RPGs and stuff. I always get lost. I have like. I have a really good sense of direction if I've like been through something before but if I've never like gone somewhere before or like been through something before I don't know my way around and I get lost so fast especially if it's like a video game type thing so then the boulder should be here path is now clear. Okay, there's a random girl just trapped. A random foreign girl. Oh my gosh, there are people here. Hey, over there. Hey, help me. Look, over there, a girl's trapped. Quickly, let's get to her. Elliot, help me lift this. Fine, he's so enthusiastic about this. On three, one, two, three. Urg, ah, got it. Urg, phew. You there, are you injured? Ah, thank goodness, I don't think I'm hurt, but I completely got stuck there. Thank you, but who are you? Why are you here? That was going to be my line, darn it. My name is Hannah. The others are Priya, Elliot, and Frederick. And this is our star student. Ooh, we're a star student. I was about to get so mad because, like, I read that the others are Priya, Elliot, and Frederick. I was like, what about us? But then she called me her star student, so I guess I'll let it pass. There aren't many people around anymore. Our entire city disappeared. I'm very surprised we found someone. Ah, uh, so it wasn't a dream. My name is Holly. I'm visiting a small town outside the main city. In the blink of the eye, the town disappeared. The ground beneath me shattered and I fell. Down and down. I must have lost consciousness. When I woke up, I was right here, trapped underneath this rubble. I see. Tell me. Where were you in town when it disappeared? Huh? Where? Um, I was visiting the shrine. The shrine? When I fell, I think the shrine fell with me. Look over there. The fragments of the building lying around. Strange. Um, everyone, I think we have company. Ah, uh, Frederick, would you say this is the boss? Yeah, I can sense it too. You're getting good at this, Marissa, I suppose I am. Everyone, battle formations. Holly, stay back, okay? We'll keep this monster away from you. Oh, um, okay, good luck. Okay, so, Migi... See, okay, so they just had Migi and Ishii, like, next to each other, and they're so freaking similar. Coconut. Let's do Ishita. Um, I feel like this one attacked us next. Trying to like think like battle formations. Okay. Ue attacked us last, so that would be Naka. Hopefully we don't get attacked. Okay, nice. And then this is he oh that was almost bad. I almost clicked the wrong one. So we got it. And now I think we can add Holly. 
tour thing. Wow, way to go. You're amazing. Ooh, nah, that was nothing. The monsters are getting tougher. We should get out of here while we still can. Arisidea, did we get everything we need? Yeah, we gathered heaps of materials. We should get definitely... Blah, they should definitely help us out. I can't read. Oh my god. Fantastic. Holly, come with us. We'll take you back to the town we're building. You're building a town? Yeah, we don't have much choice since every city around has vanished. That's incredible. Let me help out. I've got nowhere else to go back to after all. Great. We could definitely use the help. We'll fill you in on what's been happening when we return. Roger that. So I feel like I only have like a few female voices and so I'm trying to like give her a unique one but she's kind of like falling in between a mix of like the per like my character's voice and like Priya's voice which my character's voice is just a more normal version of Priya's voice. Hey Residia, how's your day been? I know you think of me as your boring teacher, but even I need to relax sometimes. Do you want to grab a bite to eat? Sure. So with these, I believe that the more you like talk to people, you can like interact with them. Hey there. Sorry, you caught me at a bad time. She, she just invited us out to eat, didn't she? I, I've been crying a little. Oh no, Hannah. Daisho boo. Things have been tough lately. You know how it is. With everything that's happened to Japan, it's hard to keep going. I'm teaching you all Japanese, and I feel like a giant burden is on my shoulders. So go talk to the freaking like, native speakers in this town. <laughs> if I don't do my job well, what will happen to us? My students' lives are at risk. I didn't want to say anything, but I guess I can't help it. I'm scared. I'm scared that I'll fail in my role as your teacher, and one of you will get hurt, or even worse. Still, as your teacher, I shouldn't be discussing such things with you. You're my star pupil. I can't let a discussion like this muddy your opinion of me. Without all of you, I truly have nothing. Everything else has been taken away from me. So, please, keep studying with me, at least for a while longer. I'm counting on you, just as you're counting on me. Your bond with Hana has grown stronger. Hana's power and speed has increased by five. She learned a new skill. And with that, I think that we are going to save and end things here. Because that was a bit long. We did two lessons, which I feel like is on par with what we normally do. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know that I haven't been keeping up with this but things got super busy with just lots of like major things breaking around my house and things like that this upcoming week I will be starting school but it's all online so hopefully that won't affect things but if you notice that I'm not putting out content as much it is because I am starting grad school and trying to get situated with that so just go easy on me, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments below if you liked it. If you didn't, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I release more kanji combat videos. If you don't want to hit the notification bell, just know that I post these typically on Tuesdays. I try to at least. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.